All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Uh, today we have an RF chip. It is a low distortion mixer, an 8831, uh, a 25 pin package. Uh, interesting. Um, it is a double balance mixer, low distortion, plus 24 dBm, third order intercept point, plus 10 dBm, 1 dB compression point. So it outputs a pretty healthy, healthy signal. Uh, low LO drive, you only need to minus 10 uh, dBm to drive the LO. It can do 500 megahertz. Uh, yeah, and applications here, what can you do with it? <laughs> It, it acts as a high performance mixer. Well, yeah, a direct baseband conversion. Okay, image rejection, IQ modulator, yeah, LO stuff, right? Okay, um, product highlights, minus 10 for 24 output, uh, good isolation, yeah. So this is what the uh, chip looks like. It is a, uh, uh, it is a plus and minus five volt part, ideally. Now you can run it single ended and that's what we're going to do. Um, let's look at a block diagram here. Uh, I think it's, yeah, that's kind of an ugly block diagram. Yeah. Let's look at this one. Cause this is the way that we're going to have it wired. All right. Um, all right, so we have uh, two signals coming in, one this side, one this side. So they go into these amplifiers, then they get mixed and then they get amplified going out. All right. And uh, the way this one is configured is for a single nine volt supply. Um, so there is a, a voltage positive and a voltage negative, uh, but you can strap it just for um, see, this is the voltage negative. You could have this at minus five and the other at plus five, or you can have this strapped at zero and then, and then run this at, uh, run the top there at nine volts. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run this at nine volts. So, um, I don't need to build a board cause I found one. All right. And I found this on AliExpress, my favorite place to shop, all kinds of weird stuff there. Um, so yeah, so this is an 8831 on a board. It says one to 500 megahertz, L O N R F N I F out. Um, I soldered these little loops on here to be able to clip leads onto it, but, uh, yeah, there we go. A whole bunch of stitched vias on it. So paid attention to some stuff. Um, yeah. So I say, uh, you know, it's a mixer, so let's make it mix. Okay, let's try it out. Um, I have uh, nine volts going into the board and actually 9.1 volts going into the board just in case there was any voltage drop on the line. And I have uh, RF in coming from, uh, coming from the key site uh, generator, have it set to 90 megahertz sine wave. So I've got uh, 90 megahertz coming in here. And then on the LO at minus 10 dBm, uh, I have, uh, lower this down. I've got my VNA hooked up. I'm just using the um, uh, output. Uh, so I have it set to 400 megahertz. So I have 400 megahertz, uh, 400 megahertz coming in here and 90 megahertz coming in here. So we should get 400 plus 90 and 400 minus 90 on the output which goes over here and that's exactly what we're getting. We're getting a peak at uh, 410 at 400 and 490. Um, and everything else is very, very clean. So yeah, it's working pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. Uh, frequency stop frequency. Let's go to two gigahertz just to see if there's any extra things. Oh, there is an extra thing at three. There's something at 800. So the second, harmonic of the 400 goes through. Um, but otherwise it's going to be useful for what you need it for. Whenever you run it through a, a mixer, you've got to filter it afterwards anyway, because you're going to need to pick out which spike that you want. All right, there you go. Uh, just a quick look at the 88831 uh, active mixer.